Okay, you see that middle one? Mm-hmm. The little, little one? That scares it's me. Oh. not there anymore. I hit that one dead center. Oh, jeez, look, it's stuck up top. I smacked it so hard it went straight. I hit it right there. So let me grab my coffee. Not sponsored by Tim Hortons. Yeah, still not. <laughs> still not sponsored by Tim Hortons. So I got a new gun today. Yesterday. Yeah, the other nope. day. Yeah, Two I days. got a new gun the other day. So uh, I'm excited to show you. I have not fired this before. Is that the new one? Yeah, this is the new one. I can't wait to try it out. It's magazine fed. It's a 30-06. Take the cover off. Look at that. Oh, fancy. Fancy. Now I've got fancy something that actually fancy. works with it. Let's see if I can't figure it. There we go. There it is. And this is what it shoots. It's comparable to the 308, just a little bigger. Ah, show it again. Oh, I'll just put it right here like okay. this. This is 6.5 by 55 Swede. That used to be my biggest one. So that's what I'm gonna be comparing this to today is my 6.5 by 55 Swede and the rest of my long guns. I've never fired a 30 out 6 before. Looks like it just got a free round mag, which is fine. Single stack. Okay, let's see how it goes. See that? Okay, I've never fired it before. Are you shooting a jug? I could. Or are you uh, shooting see that, a plate? The, the, the yellow plate that's at 75 yards that I have on the left. The second one? Yeah, on the side. Beside the water bottle? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go for that one. Okay, let me just find it on here. There okay. it is. Okay. I have no idea how it's sighted in, so let's see if it's uh, sighted in. <laughs> yep. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> okay. That like blew my hair back. Nuts. This thing's <laughs> awesome. I really like this. I like. I think I like this more than the 308. I'm gonna go for the hundred yard one. Do I need to zoom it in? Yeah. Yeah. Do you see the plates? You went too fast the last time. Just let me know when you're ready. The plates? Yep. How the do the hanging one? Okay. Yep. It looks like I got it dead center. I did. I bullseyed it. That's so sweet. Okay. That's cool. Uh, okay, I got one more true test, I guess. You see them hanging plates still? I can. Yep. Just hold on. It needs to focus. Yeah. There. Okay, you see that middle one? Mm-hmm. The little, little one? That scares it's me. Oh. Not there anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go. I gotta go for a walk. <laughs> the small little plate isn't there anymore. <laughs> that thing is sweet. That's like my new favorite. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm just gonna go check up on uh, those three those three shots that I shot. Yep, hit it right there. Oh <laughs> look at the crater. Holy Yeah, so I hit that one dead center. Oh jeez, look, it's stuck up top. I smacked it so hard it went straight, I hit it right there. I hit it so hard it went up and got stuck. What is she doing? 30 out six. That's awesome. This is my first 30 out 6. I've never fired a 30 out 6 before until now. <laughs> Other people are here. So I got a vortex. I'm assuming 1 to 12 times. 4 to 12 by 40. 
have that on there. Kind of sort of came with it. I had this bipod just lying around, so I put it on there. Because why not? Because why not? Huh. Yeah, that milk jug that's in the middle here. Okay, let me just focus it up. There. Nope. Let me know when you're good. We're good. Okay, I'm going to go dead center of it. It makes me jump every time. <laughs> you gotta try this one. You gotta try one shot. Just one shot. Yeah, you're gonna try one shot. Okay, I'll just load one in there for you. Does it kick back? Honestly, I don't find that it kicks that much. Push forward and down. There you go. Now it's ready to go. I can't see it. There you go. <laughs> For not being able to see it, you sure smucked it. Oh, my glasses fell back. Next up is my M96 Mauser. This guy was made in 1899. Oh, you're bringing this guy out. Yep. Bringing out all the long actions. And this is the one that shoots these, the 6.5x55 Swede. I'll shoot three of these. Uh, it, it has an internal mag of five. And that one, it's got a detachable mag of three. Double stack. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go for that closer plate, the one that's on the right there. The one that I didn't hit? Yeah, in the grass. And there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I must have been just pulling up. Got it. Whew. I'm going to shoot one more. <laughs> got him. <laughs> this is cool. Yep. Got all the crown stamps in there. Got all the shiny, shiny bits. Everything. All the serial numbers. I don't know if you can see right here or not. There's an, a, a crown stamp in the internal magwell. One of my favorite pieces. They're all my favorite. That one's climbing up there though pretty quick. That one's really cool. I'm just gonna put them plates back up real quick and then show you the difference between that and 556 five, NATO, I suppose. Spalding was so intense off of that one that you shot, it put holes in this. <laughs> oh, so much running. <sighs> Alright, time to show my WK-180. Because of Canadian standards, our mags are limited to five, unfortunately. A little different. <laughs> Maybe one day it'll change. So I'm just going to load five uh, full metal jackets in there. This is so fun. So this one's pretty versatile. <laughs> I also have a Vortex uh, LPVO optic on here. It's a one to four times. 
Let me just empty. I want to show it off. Oh, okay. All the bits and pieces. <laughs> Yeah, this one's this one's real cool. There's so many on the ground. I'm tripping over. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna shoot a couple of five five six NATO. I've got one water bottle that's up there. I'm gonna send a hollow point its way. It might have a different combustion. Some five five six NATO hollow points. I'm gonna go for that plate, and then the water bottle. I think it's good. Oh yeah. It made a kaboom. It made a kaboom even more. <laughs> <laughs> I like those. Those feel good. Those feel real good. What is she doing? What is she doing? Is she trying to hide behind the post? Stealth 100. Like <laughs> Sneaky. I got a camera over there. I hope it doesn't fall down. 30 out 6 combustion compared to the 6.5 speed. Am I on this side? Yeah. Maybe. I'm going to go for the one on the right side. Okay, just let me... Water bottle? Yep. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> bang, bang. Okay. Now I'm going to go with the 6.5 Mauser. They're I wonder both... if the lens is covered in water over there. Probably. Let's go check it out. They're both my favorite. <laughs> They're my favorite. <laughs> that 30 out 6 is like really cool. <laughs> oh, I need a haircut. Yeah. Got my other phone. Still recording. I think it got everything. So I got one more thing I kind of sort of want to do. And it's with that 30 out 6. I'm going to take that camera, my other phone. Bring it all the way down to the 100 yard one, so then I can show you me hitting those up close, so it looks better. See if I can't go for 3 for 3. RUN! Oh, you still filming? A little bit. <laughs> Seeing you just go for a 100 yard dash? <laughs> run, Forrest, run! Whew, alright. I'm going to go for them 100 yard ones, the far ones. Oh, this is so cool. I hit all three. See that? That camera got some cool footage. That was awesome. <laughs> I can hit it while standing. Oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you for watching the video. This was my <laughs> long gun video. <laughs> Still filming, huh? So much running. Just gotta clean up my garbage, that way it doesn't look like I littered. <laughs>